Welcome boys and girls to our new daisy adventure. On this one I break free from the cycle of base building as I hit the road on a literal moving base. I've seen players using cars, trucks and even RVs as mobile bases. However, in keeping with the setting of Chinaris being an ex-Soviet republic, I wondered what would be the most appropriate vehicle for the wilderness of Chinaris. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gaz 71, a civilian version of the GTSM tracked cargo carrier which was used and still is in use in the northern wilderness of the former Soviet Union. To actually get one up and running with enough storage would be a challenge in itself. So let's dive in and see if I'm up for it. And if you like this sort of uh, video, please remember to hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and leave us a comment on what you would like to see next. That would really keep me motivated to make this sort of uh, videos. As you can see, we're back on the coast. I've been playing for a couple of hours, I've managed to loot the Belota airfield and found a couple of weapons, including two very uh, valuable high caliber snipers, which I've stashed away um, over here. So as you know, my objective is to try and uh, get the Gaz 71, um, but before I can do that, I need to stock up on food and find a way to earn some money. Uh, the best way I, I've found so far is to start fishing. Um, at least I can cover my food aspect there because I don't want to be starving to death out here. So I'm just gonna put up a fire here um, using nothing but what I've got on me, which is a sharpened stone. And we'll get some, some food cooking because uh, I did manage to shoot uh, an animal earlier, but I've got some fish as well. So the next step would be for me to try and find my way to the trader and s sell the weapons that I've managed to loot from Belota and then see exactly how much the Gas 71 is going to set me back and come up with a, a strategy to earn enough money to actually buy the damn thing. Alright, so here we are, the trader. I'm hoping and praying it's not going to cost me my right testicle, but a vehicle of that size is not going to be cheap. So I'm going to sell everything I've got over here and then and come up with a plan. If only I can get over these tires. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we've got a good uh, array of uh, weapons here and, and I can sell most of the smaller guns that I've got. And let's have a look at the cars. I want the vehicles, and there, I think I see it. Yes, there it is. Oh, the gas 71, so that's 558.6k. That's gonna set me back a bit. So I won't be able to buy that straight away with whatever I've got. I'm on my own. I don't have any inclination to do sort of key cards and things like that, which uh, require possibly a team to go in uh, for any chance of success. So what I'm seeing here is that uh, fishing and hunting is my next best bet. So I'm going to try and get some uh, fish nets, fishing gear, and I've already got weapons to go hunting. And as you can see, the pelts bring in quite a good, good sum. But uh, again, it's not going to be enough to buy that damn thing. And speaking of hunting, on my way back, look who I ran into. So let's see if our 300 AC uh, blackout is good for hunting. Hmm, with one shot, not bad. Too bad little little stag. I wonder what he's doing so so far down here near the coast. These little buggers are usually up north. But eh, his bad luck, my payday. And the meat would um, not only be good for me, because I can eat it, but I can sell it as well. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of meat. And I've got a pristine pelt as well. So I've got my tent set up now, so this is gonna be my sort of base camp. Not a base, but just a starting camp so I can start um, fishing and hunting. I'm gonna set up some fish traps and see how they work out. 
Uh, I don't think they're that great, but uh, it's better than just doing nothing. So while I'm fishing, these fish traps are going to bring me some catch as well. Hopefully this would give me enough money and food to buy some sort of small vehicle like a quad bike or the Kawasaki Mule, which is kind of like a glorified golf cart. And that would help me go up north and hunt the big game. So yeah, I'm selling my fish and yeah, it's bringing me quite a pretty penny, but uh, not the amounts that I really need. Not the big boy cash. Okay. And on my way back, what do you know? Somebody's let the goats out. Looks like there's some... Alright, post-apocalyptic meat is back on the menu, boys. Utterly fascinating. So I've got enough money now to buy the Kawasaki Mule, which would enable me to go up north on a proper hunting expedition. Now that should bring enough money for me to buy the Gaz 71, and boy is this thing a piece of crap. It's as stable as your 80 year old grandma who's just had a hip broken. So far it's okay, but uh, the only issue is uh, when the server is full it bounces around like a $5 hooker on speed. But uh, it'll serve the purpose. As you can see I've, I've uh, attached a sea chest and a barrel to expand its storage capacity. So I've come up north to the town of Mishkino and the Mishkino military camp. This is going to be a bit dangerous. This is a PvP area and there's going to be players around, possibly. But so far, I have not run into anybody. I have not run into any zombies over here. So let's have a look around at the camp and see if we can get some weapons or any sort of military gear that I can sell or use. Okay, so that's a belt. A vanilla magazine. I'm not going to take that and I'm not going to take a hoodie. It's not my style. I'm still going to stick to the fireman's um, helmet. And if you hear in the distance, I could hear either deer or stag or something. Uh, which is a good sign. That means there's a uh, game. And I'm probably going to follow that up after I've uh, looted this area. Uh, but it looks like slim pickings. For the really good loot, I gotta go up north uh, to the Northwest Airfield, uh, the Tizzy military base, and that's where having a mobile base is gonna come in real handy. I won't have to build a proper base, I can just use um, the, the tracked vehicle and possibly just a tent um, as a base. Um, looks like there's nothing here, let's, let's keep moving. So my next target is the Tricresta military tents. They're a bit further up north, so I'm going to use these rail tracks uh, to guide me uh, up to that point. I'm going to just park outside uh, the PvP area. And hopefully there should be some more gear. But uh, so far, uh, as you can see, yeah, this, this, this vehicle is, is useless. Um, well, not useless, but it certainly feels that way. So let's park up here by the rail crossing. I'm going to get out, lock my car, and make my way up to the tents. As you can see, I'm, just, I'm leaving my weapon behind. If I die, I die. That um, vest is not going to be much help. And it looks like there's not many people up here on the west side of the map. There's nobody, actually. I haven't run into anybody. So hopefully I can just loot and scoot. Okay, that's the first weapon I found for the whole trip. Um, not much, it's a Remington 700, but it shoots only 308. 
it's, uh, it's okay for game hunting, I suppose. And yeah, there's nobody. This is all abandoned, eerily quiet. Yeah, you never want things to be too quiet. There might be somebody camping. If there's zombies around, at least I, I can use them as an early warning system. And all I'm finding is, oh, some food. That's uh, better. But this loot run is turning into kind of a failure. Unless I find something more valuable in the next uh, few seconds. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, let's check the last tent. The last couple of tents. Nothing here. And nothing here. Great, okay. I'm just gonna go head back to the vehicle. I'm just gonna get something to eat real quick here before I um, starve to death. Oh, a blueprint, okay. Let's see what that's worth of the, worth of the traders. But until then, let's, uh, let's get back. Back on the mule, let's keep moving. So I think I'm gonna head back now. I'm not gonna head any further north. Uh, it's just a bit too risky. So I might go back down the way I came. See if we can catch some game. I'm pretty sure I heard some deer, stags. And uh, we can probably shoot some of those. The pelts will be worth something. And I can hear something. Oh, there we go. I knew I heard something, so that's just, uh, looks like it's just a deer. I might want to follow on foot, but uh, it's going to be a bit difficult because the, the sound of the engine. Oh, there's another one. Okay, nice. So let's uh, track them down. I might get to an open space and then uh, dismount my vehicle and follow them on foot. Because I'm pretty sure the sound of the engine is um, scaring them away. Okay, I see them in the distance. Oh, there's three of them. That's perfect. Because uh, I'm really bright and intelligent, and I remember everything. Uh, I didn't bring a long-range scope. I just got a hollow sight, so I gotta get close up. Okay, let's say downwind. One for you, one for you. Oh, great. I guess you, one is not enough. Two for you. No. Okay, let's push him up. Okay, let's keep moving. I think I dropped one of them. Possibly another. But, uh... Yeah, there's one left. Let's keep moving in. Nice. This is gonna go a long way. So after a few days of uh, hunting and fishing and looting, etc, I've managed to come up with uh, the uh, the amount to buy the Gas 71. So the big day is here, and um, I'm probably going to buy one, see how much storage I can fit on it, and sell the mule. And there it is. Oh, great. Somebody's... Uh, damn it. They're blocking the spawn point. Oh, let me just help this uh, little fellow on his way. Q and E, my friend. Q and E. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. There we go, little fella. All right, let's hit it. Oh, nice. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, attach the, the lock to the vehicle for some joyrider gets on it and uh, decides to take it for a spin. Already I can see it's, it's pretty bigger than, I've ex than I expected. Uh, it might be just the way I'm seeing things in third person. Yeah, it looks nice. Ooh. Yeah, it locks it. Unlock. I know most people say, uh, oh, some old Russian piece of cr crap. Uh, but, uh, I love these kind of things, these kind of vehicles. 
they're eccentric. They're, they're, this is actually still in use uh, up in Siberia. They use these vehicles quite a lot. And it's essentially a glorified tractor. Uh, it's got no armor. There is an armored version, but this is the civilian unarmored version. Let's get in and have a look around inside. It's very Spartan. Uh, starts up okay. Yeah, so it's a gasoline engine, not a diesel, as most people um, mistake it for. Let's see, it seems to move out okay. As far as I know, it's it's quite fast, but it cannot make hills very well. Okay, let's uh, let's get out and see what storage options we've got. I might try to swap some of the storage I've got on my mule, uh, the barrel, or possibly the sea chest, and see if it fits on. Let's see. Uh, okay, I can't take the barrel out because there's already things in it. But I can take the sea chest out. Let's see if we can attach it on. Because having a mobile base, um, mobility is one thing, but we need storage capacity. we got 1,000 slots, which is awesome. I mean, I'm just solo, uh, so that's enough for me. So let's uh, put some of those things in. Let's see if we can attach the sea chest, which we tried, but we can't. So I'm going to put in this uh, virtual garage, and I'll explain how it works later on. This is going to be the key. It's a Gaz 71. It's kind of like a small Russian... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've seen this uh, survivalist. Um, he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, lives somewhere out in Russia, in Siberia, as a Norwegian guy. Um, he uses one of these to travel around and camp. And I really want to try that on Daisy. So, yeah, I don't know. That's cool looking. How's it drive? I don't know. Apparently it drives like shit, but um, I don't mind. As long as it gets, it's better than the mule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much everything's better than mule. Faster. Yeah. Cool. Now, Got good cool capacity. Looking? Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Well, cool. Thanks, man. No worries, man. So, already people are kind of interested. Um, looks like not many people have used this vehicle. But I got a feeling it's uh, it's got potential. Potential especially for a solo like me. Or a duo. Uh, who, don't, who doesn't need a huge base. But just the essentials. And this means we can move around. So I'm going to get um, four barrels in there. It's going to increase the capacity quite a bit. With, I think around 150 or was it 300 slots for a barrel? Or well, three barrels now. So yes, 150 slots and I've got sleeping bags. And I've got the most important thing, uh, well, is the virtual garage. And I'll show you how that works later on. And so I think we're ready to move out. And I've selected a spot. Um, we're going to go back to, to the base camp near the coast, pack things up in the tent, and I'll probably get somebody else to come with me when we're going up north, because it might be a bit risky. We'll be going near some PvP areas, but hopefully we should be clear. Let's see how this thing drives, though. Uh, start her up. Nice. Yeah, reverse is okay. Let's put it into gear, and let's uh, get, get rolling. Yeah. You can see it looks uh, very something from the 70s or 60s and we've got a uh, Huey doing all sorts of weird things up front yes I think it's uh, it's Daisy on LSD yes sir please don't move back yeah uh, okay yeah just stay in those trees let's get moving it seems to move pretty pretty well Let's try and get out on the open and, and put it into gear. Left hand drive. Let's try and look wrong. It's not bouncing around like the mule, which is, oh, so much better. We're in second now. Nice. And it's moving quite smoothly. Yeah, not bad. Let's, let's put it into third. Just after this road here. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Around 60 kilometers an hour. Not bad. Yeah, 
it's still uh, it's still still very stable along this uh, sort of rough area, and it's, it's perfect along the roads. Okay, so we're close to home now, or well, our temporary base camp. I don't want to call it home because this is going to be our home now. Ah, the smell of this, the salt, the smell of the ocean. Right, we're gonna have to say goodbye to it now. Not that I'm gonna feel sad. But it has been a fairly good time over here. So I'm going to pack up the tent, pull the flag down, and uh, move north. But I'm going to wait um, till actually evening or, or night time to do the move. And it's gone dark. Let's uh, bring the flag down, which is a task in itself. But I've got a beautiful sunset. And it's nice out here. I feel kind of sad to leave, but uh, we gotta go. So I got my friend Third Eye with me. Uh, he's um, he's gonna join me on this uh, trip north. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't seem impressed. Okay. I'm gonna get in. Come on, Third Eye, get in. Come on. Oh, great, he's pushing it. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's it. Come on. This is not the Special Olympics. Come on, get in. There we go. All right, let's move out. Goodbye, Ocean. Goodbye, Kamenka. Thank you for not killing me. That was nice, though. Visibility is dropping, but uh, I think I'll turn on. The, I'll risk turning on the headlights uh, when we're at the far west of the map. Um, like our first scouting expedition, our first hunting trip, uh, we did notice there was not many players around there. So let's keep moving. Ooh, it's looking good. Well, headlights are giving us um, good, good uh, illumination, and we're gonna head up north. Yeah, it's getting cold in here. Let's close the door. Insects are coming in. Can you imagine the amount of mosquitoes um, there's gonna be in Chernar? If anybody's lived in, in places like this, uh, they'd know what I'm talking about. Continuing up north, we're gonna use the railway as our guide. We're gonna head up to one of the north, uh, the the dam here. We're gonna cross. Hopefully, should be safe. I don't hear anybody or anything, so we're gonna push our way down through the forest here and have a look at the dam. Just. Um, use the dam itself as a bridge. This dam is a great place. Um, I've seen people um, build bases on the southern aspect of it, uh, which is an interesting uh, concept, to be honest. The first time I've ever seen a post-apocalyptic dam base was in the film uh, The Postman with Kevin Costner, and it's interested me since, because you've got a pretty good fortified and hidden position, and you've got the option to generate power as well. Of course, uh, you're going to wonder how long this concrete's going to last. Yeah, there's nobody around. Let's get across quickly. And continue our journey. Go north, my son. Go north. And the road looks uh, pretty clear up here. Let's keep moving. Uh, the terrain is uh, getting a bit rougher now, um, as the further north we go. To our right uh, should be Castle Krona, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere to our right, anyway. And we've come to the rail tracks, uh, so we're going to follow these north now. Yeah, I think our position is, uh, we're, we're making good progress. Oh, there's Castle Crota to our right now. And we're 
almost there. Just in front of us is the spot we chose. This will be our new position. Our mobile base is going to take up a position here. We're going to get set up and secure. And probably have to um, farm some food as well. We're running low. But well, we made it. Nice. So I've got my flag kit. Uh, Third Eyes had to leave me for a bit, but uh, I think I should be okay. There's nobody around. No zombies either. Let's get our flag up. It's a cunning system of conquering countries with the clever use of flags. There you go. Now I own this. Somebody comes here and asks me, how can you? How do you own it? Well, I've got a flag. Do you have a flag, sir? No. Let's see where I'm going to put my tent up. Probably just next to the flagpole. Once I get a lockdown, I don't think people are going to be bothered about it. It's just a tent. It's not a base. The reason why I wanted this uh, tent more than the storage is a place to hide the virtual garage. Set up a password, something I can remember. And here we go. So, this is the virtual garage. Uh, I'm gonna put it up inside here. This will allow me to store my vehicle in the ether. Otherwise, um, vehicles would um, despawn after about eight hours. So, I don't want that. And I've got my food supply up. It's my pumpkin patch. I'm more or less self-sufficient at this point. Uh, so the next day comes, I'm with Third Eye, but uh, we got a friend of ours who's kind of stuck. Karma uh, despawned, well, he logged out somewhere in the south of the map, so we're going to try and reach him using our mobile base and, and bring him back to this position. And we made it quite uh, in quite good time, and yeah, we're in good nick. This thing is pretty awesome. I mean, a big base with a helicopter would be ideal, but I mean, this is uh, just as good. You've got quite a lot of uh, gear as well. Just uh, treat karma for his infection. There you go, sir. Shouldn't be visiting those um, whorehouses in Saigon. You're gonna need a penicillin shot. Yeah, I've never been in the back of one of these, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite spacious. It's not that bad. I mean, in real life, I wouldn't mind one of these if it uh, worked as well as it does in the game, but uh, I've seen videos of it, and it's quite slow. Ooh, but it's nice. I wonder if you can even buy these anymore. Now yeah, let's get out of here. Here, helicopter spooling up. I don't want to be around. Let's move out. Head back to our base camp. Hi ho, silver, and away. That's nice. That's going pretty fast now. Up to third gear, 82, 84 kilometers an hour. Nice. Right, excellent. So we've geared up. What we're going to do now is um, get um, get geared up, treat our illnesses as best as possible. Come on, Karma, get out. We're here, boys. And um, yeah, we got our sleeping bag spaced, placed up. So if we die, we'll, we can spawn back here. Uh, Karma needs uh, to place his one. Yeah, find a spot. Don't worry. promise we don't snore. There we go. Right, nice. 
So we're going to head into the Northwest Airfield and uh, try to get some loot. We might run into players, but uh, right now the server's uh, a bit quiet. So we, what we need is weapons, armor, and ammunition. Oh, the tents, so oh, they've... Uh, ooh, good. 338 ammo. That, that's worth a lot. And if we can find some more 338 um, guns, um, that'd be great. Lapua 338. Oh, nice, a honey badger. That's um, that's going to be useful because it's silenced. And even if it's not very good for killing players, we can use it to um, shoot uh, zombies. And what do we have here? No, oh, vanilla handguard. Nice. So we found a patch and egg uh, PKP. That's awesome. That's a nice um, squad machine gun. 762 by 54. And that um, Karma use that. Or Third Eye. Okay, so we've got some zombies here we need to clear out. And just be careful now. People are going to know that we're here. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, my, my aim is shit. And the zombies are quite tough. They're taking, like, multiple hits. Now, I'm using a um, MK-47 Mutant 762 by 39 Shit, and these are unarmored opponents. They should be blown back, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the zombies on the server are mean. Mean bastards. Anyway, we made short work of them. So the next day, I'm on my own, and I've come back to the airfield. Looks like we're building up quite an arsenal. Enough weapons to equip a small army, but we need more because we're going to head further up north in the next few days, close to Tizzy, and we're going to see if we can get some key cards to do, because that's where the real um, good stuff is. Uh, but so far we've got, done some good looting. We've run into a couple of players, but, but so far um, nothing serious, and they were all kind of um, first spawns, or not much loot on them anyway. Uh, 101. We got better weapons now. What we really... Oh, nice. That's, uh, that's a good uh, night vision. Not that we need much night vision. The knights on this server are not that pitch black, vanilla black. But uh, they look cool. More armor. So these, yeah, it's pristine as well. I'm going to swap things out. Do a little Tetris here. Nice. Let's keep moving. No. Oh, yes. So this is what we're looking for. These MK3s and uh, other 338 weapons. It's lock and load, buddy. Nice. And it's uh, semi-automatic to boot. I think I heard something. Hang on. Oh, wait. Is he down? Is he down? No, he should be down now. And yes, oh wow, okay. This guy's this guy's geared. Oh look at that, he's got a kitted out M4. It's gillied and silenced. Whoa, alright, this guy is so geared. Oh I'm I'm taking everything. M98 B Kivari suppressed M4, all gillied. I'm pretty sure he's got 855A1 ammo as well. Nice. I'm out of here. Well, let's move. Alright, so we've got enough weapons to equip a small army. So we're gonna come back, and hopefully in the next one, we'll get into some more fights, and we'll be in the war. Make sure to watch our other adventures, and keep subscribed and notified for the next one.